Right folks, how are we all? It's a glorious sunny day here in the East Midlands. Just seen some bloke with a fucking mask on and gloves. Um, right, in the paper, uh, it turns out that Asda have got a new range of foods out, and uh, but <sighs> through the situation of the world of today, I've got shit on my glasses. Through the situation of the world of today, um, people are now struggling for money. When you've got a gas electric, when you've got utility bills touching nearly over three, well, touching over three thousand pound, it makes you want to touch cloth because you've shaken shit yourself because of you don't know what the fuck you're going to do. So what has happened is that Asda, uh, Asda have brought out a bright yellow budget range. And um, because I think he's took his mask off, he's all right. Because um, what it is, uh, the, the Asda, right, are probably a company that's taken a lot of money out of people's pockets over the COVID situation. So, in one way, I do agree with what they're doing, they are looking to bring a budget range in and help people out who are actually struggling with money. Now, back in the day, years ago, you would probably see somebody who did actually use a budget range in a shop of Tesco's or Asda or Morrison's and that. And you would look at the trolley and you would actually put the stigma of they haven't got a lot of money, they're struggling. Uh, so what has happened is Asda have actually launched a range and uh, Asda has been criticised for its bright red yellow budget range, but many people think it's a great idea. While one shopper said the yellow packaging was a poverty marker, others have praised the new range. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to go inside Asda. I'm going to take you lot with me with my little fucking camera, my little DJI. Uh, I'm going to go and buy yellow budget food. And uh, then I'll take it home and we'll go from there and we'll have a chat about it. Uh, can I also just say, the Falklands t-shirt, right, I didn't serve in the Falklands. I would have been 13, you idiot. I would have been 13. I buy these t-shirts out of memory and respect for the people that actually went down there, fought and died. It's like wearing a poppy. I haven't ever fought in the war of any kind. I've never been in the services. I could never do the services. I could never do it, right? But what I do is I buy these things because the money from this shirt goes to people who are veterans of Falklands. I am trying to do my little bit. That is all it is. I never claim to be in the Army or the Navy or the Air Force or anything like that. But to say you never fought in the Falklands when I was 13 is pretty fucking stupid. I also own a Leicester shirt. I've never played for Leicester. I also own an England shirt. I've never played for England. Right, got that off my chest. Uh, come with me.
Right, folks, so you have just seen me walking around Asda with my little camera um, videoing bits of shopping. Uh, now, this is the haul. Now, uh, as you have seen, I did do the price of the haul, uh, and it was £21.30. That wasn't bad, was it, June? No. Are you impressed, June? I am impressed. I am very impressed because... Although there's bits there that I would never buy, like the ready meals. Yeah, I um, personally wouldn't buy the ready meals. No, I wouldn't buy the ready meals and I wouldn't buy the chocolate, probably. Um, I would buy the yogurts. Um, yeah, I mean, I, out of that, I could make, I'd say, a couple of meals for all three Oh, definitely. Of them. I, mean, the, I mean, made from scratch meals. I mean, you've got your beef mince there, you could, with the addition of the. Bolognese so, sauce. Um, well, now the the only thing that I don't uh, well I didn't see was the fact that they didn't do any. Um, didn't you buy some frozen veg as well? There's some frozen veg. I put it back in the freezer. Do you want me to get it back out? Yeah. Sweetheart? It's a very warm day again here in the East Midlands. Um, I'll tell you what. Twenty-seven degrees. Says out there. All right. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't buy the ready meals. I definitely wouldn't no. buy them. I'd have probably spent that money on. A bag of spuds, some spaghetti, and an onion. Yeah, because they don't do uh, they don't do duvets. They don't do. Um, I couldn't find any essentials in potatoes and carrots and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but they're but cheap to, enough. Yeah, anyway. I was going to say they're, they're cheap, cheap enough. There's anyway. no point in repackaging it just for the sake of two five p. It's not worth it. I tell you what, they're worth doing. If I cooked a bolognese using just this. Yes. Would the chocolate be? Oh, you, you can put chocolate. Yeah, in but not bolognese, white chocolate. Yeah. Not white chocolate. Because I could use the beef mints, make a big bolognese sauce that would last us. Mix in some of the mixed veg. Yeah. I'd have to add an onion. Um, well, like we say, onions are cheap and enough. And a tin of Twin tomatoes because I don't like this kind of sauce. Yes. Um, I could try it with that sauce. Well, yeah, you could. But the, I'd it, rather do my own. But, I mean, I had a disaster with the... the trifle. The, because it fell over in the van. Oh, dear. So it's all gone to one end. So, I mean, you've got a loaf of bread, you've got a couple of ready meals there, you've got some cooked ham for sandwiches. Yeah, you've got soup. There were loads of soup. I mean, I didn't. I could have bought a, a damn sight more. Baked, baked beans and sausages. So there's baked beans and sausages on toast for the kids. Fruit. You've got soup for the kids. You've got uh, ham and beef paste for the kids. Your low yogurt because they did actually sell Weetabix, their own brand for so, seventy cents. You see now please. sausage rolls. I remember people used those as a snack, but when we were struggling, we would make yeah, a meal out make of that, meal with, that. Our, with a few chips. Yeah, or mashed and potato or, or and a few peas. Don't eat it as a snack. Yeah. So what I've tried to do is, I've tried to buy something healthy. Twin will get your nose out the trifle. I mean, um, look at the size of that block of cheese. I know, it's like a fucking house brick. Yeah, get, get a tray of eggs and... Uh, guess how much that worth? Don't know. Cheese, guess how much? £1.50? No, £3.65. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't shop. Yeah, I don't let June go shopping. It's a fucking nightmare when I take yeah, care. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you mean you've got pizza here, lots of kids? Pizza, pizza, right. So what we'll do is I'll go through it. The ready meal, whatever that was, was 90p. Bag for life, I've had two. Uh, yoghurt, 79p. Was that the low fat yoghurt? Mixed veg, 72p. Yeah. Soup, 30p. Um, canned beans, they were 42p. Beans and sausages. Yeah, little sausages in there. Uh, Pasta, now they did sell uh, pasta and everything. I actually videoed it and it was something like 27p, I think, I can't remember. But it was really, really cheap. Uh, pasta sauce, 39p. Um, pasta bake, uh, pasta, I did buy some pasta. I thought I, I thought uh, you got a, I bet it's this, isn't it? Your macaroni cheese. Oh, it might be, I don't know. Well, that, that'd be a ready meal. I could have sworn I picked some pasta up. I wonder if I left it or lost it. Well, that's that, could that anyway. Um, Pizza, £1.20. I thought that was quite expensive for a pizza, £1.20. Yeah. Uh, sausage rolls were 88p. 88p, eight sausage rolls. Is that, is that it? Cheese and bean bake? Oh, right. It's a cheese and bean bake as well. Apples, 65p. Oranges, uh, six, no. Yeah, 65p. Chocolate, 33 pence. And uh, bacon bits. I mean, I just bought them up. I thought it's just it's something to chuck in a pasta. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can I mean, make something. Shut up, you idiot. Well, like I say, if you've got if you've got some eggs, 
you could have made um, an omelette. You got the cheese. You got the bacon. You can make a Spanish omelette. You got the yeah. veg. Yeah, it's there, isn't it? And, the, and like we said, the other things are is that for you, some of your potatoes, some of all that is cheaper than what they can do it at in the yellow packet. So that is brilliant. You do that, you can make yourself a nice little meal. Now, the stigma of uh, being yellow pack and being cheap and, um, uh, you know, saying to people, oh, you're, you've got no money, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it is, is it? I think I it's- I differ with that. People who, are, who buy sensibly quite often yeah. have money. I've walked around here and I've, I mean, they, some of you say, oh yeah, but you also shop at Waitrose. Yeah, I do, I shop at Waitrose, I shop at Tesco, I shop at anywhere I fucking like, because that's the way I am. But, I personally wouldn't be bothered, if I walked, well I was walking around with a trolley full of this, it just means that you're being thrifted, it means you're being careful with your money. In this day and age, when this government is ripping us off to bits, um, it's... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a fair bit there, but like I say, I wouldn't have bought. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't but <laughs> Dog's just got to slap on the arse with an envelope. And he's like looked at as if saying, You don't slap me, I am a good boy. It wasn't a slap. Well it was just a little tap word, it but it was funny. Um <laughs> Um so anyway, it's uh yeah, I think I've tried to do a balanced shop with a few treats with the healthy stuff without the healthy stuff so if you've got to have a quick right a microwave meal you've got it if you've got to want to cook yourself a family meal you've got the veg you've got the meat you've got the pasta you've got everything i wouldn't say this is completely healthy would it i would say I it's say processed so. food a lot of it but yeah i mean like i say if that had been me shopping i'd have spent the money that you spent on the ready meals on some fresh Veg yeah, and some pasta. But I just want. I'm, yeah, yeah, I, I know, just you want just to buy the to yellow what stuff. You forget. But I think we'll have a go at doing a spaghetti bolognese using what's here with the addition of a bit of pasta and an onion. Yeah. And uh, see what it turns out like. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Um, go a go. See what you can get. Um, leave your comments down below if you agree with me. If you know, if you if you would go out shopping and buy just this, would you be? Do you think you would be stigmatised by saying, oh, you're would poor? Would you be embarrassed? Yeah, would you be embarrassed? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be embarrassed. We've been there. When we were in debt, when I got us into debt, and we were struggling like fuck uh, for money, um, I wasn't bothered. In fact, the fact that I took on my, my debt in the end and grabbed it by the scruff of the neck... Mm. Are you waving your hand about? No. All right. <laughs> Not are you. When um, and we took on the debt, and we bought stuff like this. Um, I wasn't bothered. I was more proud of the fact that I'd taken on the debt and we were getting it sorted. Now debt free, happy days. And I think this is how the people might start going in the future. Because when this fuel crisis does finish or comes to lower than what it is, I'm hoping that people have actually started to shop like this and start funding their diets correctly by cooking from home based food. With the odd treat of a microwave meal, I think we, you know, I'm hoping this will start making people think about where their money I actually goes to waste. How anybody can say that a microwave meal is a treat? I think they're vile. No, I, I don't. I mean, the microwave meals are, are quick. They are what they say on the fucking box, isn't they? Mm. You buy it, you microwave it, you're in a rush, yeah. you're at work, this is it. I don't think that anybody in theory should be sitting down and eating a microwave meal for the meal of the day. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, people I know say, you're oh. saying convenience and stuff, but if you've got a slow cooker, yeah, you know, you can pick them up for next to nothing. You can just throw all the ingredients in it yeah. before you go to work. Or when you come home, even if you're not working, put yeah. it on in the morning and just let it cook. Yeah, and it's there. It's a routine. It's building yourself a routine as well, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of forethought. Plan what you're going to eat that day. Yeah. Rather than thinking, oh, it's six o'clock, I'm hungry, what well, have we got Well, they were doing chicken portions. I can't remember the price of the chicken portions, but you've seen them on the video. Yeah. You can just chuck chicken portions in a slow cooker. Slow cookers are about 25 notes, isn't they? If that. And please. you buy a slow cooker, and it will save you a fortune, especially if you're cooking. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, you know, like I say, I'll make that mince go over two days. All right, there's only three of us. Yeah. But you eat enough for two, don't oh, you? Let's yeah, be honest. I can eat more than that. Um, but I would make probably a bolognese or a chilli or something like that and then the rest will go in a pie yeah, the next day. Yeah, just put it in a pie. I know pie. it's a bit of a strange pie but it fills you up. It is. You, we've had some real weird pies, haven't we, the <laughs> things we've had. You know, June will say, oh, whatever's left, I'll chuck it in a pie. And uh, there's, a, there's a classic Alf Garnet clip where Alf will say, I'll put that in a pie. And he goes, you bloody will as well, won't you? Anyway, gets home next day from work, it's in a pie. But it's it's good, but and if you do other things with the pie, you know, I mean, I get some potatoes, I chip them up, put them in the parboil them, put them in the air fryer. You, they're brilliant. Cover them in a bit of paprika. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Salt and pepper, you're there. You've just got to think outside the box. And this is, I think this is a letter, uh, this should be being taught in school, how to survive like this. These are the basics that you need to survive in this shitty, shitty world yeah. and the money-driven commercialism of you the country to, today. I mean, we don't spend a lot on food, do we, really? No. It's just, um, we cook from scratch. And yeah. people will argue that it's, it's more expensive. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I don't care what you say, it's not. All right, you perhaps can't buy, make your own pizza for yeah. cheaper than that. No, one My answer to so. that is, don't have pizzas. Don't have fucking pizzas. Don't have pizzas. That's we didn't have them, we didn't have them, did yeah. we? When we were kids. If you wanted a pizza, you had to kind of make one yourself, didn't yeah. you? Out of a, a, half, half a slice of uh, French steak with a bit of tomato sauce yeah, on it. Yeah, which is easy done as well, that's well, another we didn't, way. What we had, it was like a French steak, bit of tomato puree, wasn't it? Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. And Whatever you got. You, quite often, it was just cheese, because yeah. there wasn't thing like the things like the pepperoni no. was and the salami and stuff. You'd probably put a bit of ham on it. Wait, yeah, it, ham. ham. You'd have a bit of ham on it. But the, this this is the basics. And our, people have got to start realising it's going to get worse. The thing is, I think we've all been a bit spoiled mm. um, with what we've been able to buy. People are going to slate me for this and say, no, we're not. we've always lived on the breadline. Yeah, so have we. Yeah, we did it for and eight years, didn't we? To be I quite it, honest, um, we've not really gone back to our old ways of spending. Other than your reviews, we don't have ready meals, no. do we? No, and that's we why... Do not have, yeah. We do not have things like this. No. Is that on camera? Yeah, that's on camera. We don't have things like that. Don't have that. I've just bought them because it's yellow. Yeah, you, you, know. yeah, you want to just know that. Um, we might have a pizza. But ginger like but, that, I don't but, like Yeah, that. I won't eat that. Ginger will eat that. But we'll make that into a meal. I mean, ginger and uh, yeah. Dylan will eat them because yeah. it's vegetarian. Um, cheese and beans, he'll eat that. No worries. Uh, yogurts. You've got your fruit. Bit of beef spread, ham and beef spread on so toast for the breakfast in the morning. We'll do something with this bacon. We've got chocolate as a treat at night. Cheesy cheesy fucking beans and sausage. There's another meal. Two of tomato soup. Two of tomato soup. Make a cheese sandwich. Um, cheese, dip the cheese toast is dipped yeah, in cheese tomato soup. Yeah, cheese toast is dipped in tomato soup. You ain't going fucking wrong. Sausage rolls, put them with some chips and beans. You, you're laughing. You, you, you know, and I, I know it's curry and chips. I bought that because I like curry and chips. That's after the fucking pub meal, but we don't go to the pub. So orange juice, a bit more health. Tomatoes, oranges, it's there, it's there. Um, so folks, do it, have a go, let me know how you get on, put your comments down below. And don't tell us that we don't know. We do know. We, I, when I got us into debt, uh, we do know how to fucking cook and not, and, well, and go without. Ah, I forgot it went up to fucking how many minutes. We, we planned, we bought, we had no waste, did we? No, we made, even if we didn't particularly fancy it that particular night, we yeah. weren't going to waste it, so we ate it. Yeah, and that's what I, wait, I think, honestly think the way of the country has got to go. You have got to plan, budget, cook from fresh. Yes, it's there, because it's going to get fucking tighter, it's going to get worse, the politicians don't give a fuck and they will fucking grind us down into the dirt. 
Well, do you want me to say we can make an half decent bolognese with what you've got me here? Yeah, what, and we'll just add a potato, uh, we'll just add onions and a carrot? No, because we'll use some of the frozen. All right, Might be a funny looking bolognese, but... It's there, isn't it? That's what you do. Yeah. Right, so leave that with us, folks. What do you do a bit of pasta? Uh, leave your comments down below, let me know what you think. Um, we're going to cook on a spaghetti bolognese out of this. It's a bit like Ready Steady Cook. It is. With Ainsley. I like Ainsley. Well, he's not dead, is he? No. So, uh, we'll crack on with this and this will be another video and another day. Alright, see you in a bit. Laters.